you can't know where somebody's head is at most of the time, if ever, um, especially if they're criticizing you. Maybe they're coming from a good place. Maybe they're not. However, usually if somebody's being mean and nasty, then uh, they're not feeling good about themselves. They might be feeling trapped. That's been my experience. So it's good to remember that and not take it personally. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for another bedtime vlog. <laughs> uh, I'm over here with Huckleberry and all my cluttery bedroom woes. They're not woes. Woes, maybe. Uh, I have a pretty good life. Cluttery as it may be. And I'm working on that. It's all a work in progress. And it's coming along pretty good, I must say. I'm pretty happy about all of it. I'm feeling pretty positive, pretty on track. I'm uh, looking forward to snowboarding season. I'm looking at the gouges in the bottom of my huckleberry here thinking I might have to save up. I might have to check my change jar. I've been saving up all year in various little places. Maybe I have to put a snowboard on my list because I do have a pass this year and a I do plan on shredding up some terrain. Then again, I got a couple spares, so I could probably just use up all my, use up my quiver of used, of thra thrasher boards, is that what we'll call it? Uh, I don't know what any of that has to do with anything. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, <clears throat> other people's opinion of you are none of your business. No, uh. Actually, it's great to take feedback from people, and sometimes it all doesn't always come through in palatable ways. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, what I find, what started me wanting to start this video, is that a lot of times when there's a little bit of truth in some negative feedback, it kind of stings, it sends me a little off kilter, a little wobbly, and then I feel resistant to it, I feel defensive to it, where it, like... If somebody says, you know, you're a mean purple grape, that might offend me right now because I'm wearing the shirt. I just thought of that. But uh, no, mostly that wouldn't, wouldn't, would just bounce right off of me because not, there's no truth in that. But when somebody says, your house is a real mess, nobody said that to me lately. But if they did, that would sting a little bit because it's true because my house is kind of a mess right now. Actually, half of it is real clean and it's been nice that, uh, well, real clean is a stretch. I mean, anyway, that's a side note. Point is, uh, lately people have been noticing because for a while my house was pretty bad and half of it still is, but half of it has come along and pretty well now painted and gone through and cleaned. Still little clutter issues going on and some areas that I'm working on. Um, but it's come a long way. And in fact, my back half <laughs> has come a long way too. Oh yeah. That's what I said. Um, in my house, I've been moving into the back half of my house while I rent out the front half on Airbnb. So that makes sense to you now. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> anyway, it's a good life. There's no reason to feel bad if somebody else says something that triggers you to feel bad. Note that. Notice that you feel bad. Maybe maybe kind of ask yourself why. Because usually, that, again, that means there might be some truth in that that you need to, if you want to, you might, you might gain something from looking at what the reason is. And uh, there's probably some an opportunity for growth there, an opportunity to learn. And the other flip, the one of the opportunities that that is very likely there is that the person criticizing you, if they're maybe they're not a good communicator, maybe their skills aren't very good at communicating. I run into that a lot. Maybe they're uh, got some own self loathing issues that they're kind of passive aggressively taking out on you. Maybe they're envious. So uh, maybe they're. Um, which, by the way, is such a, con like, we all get envious. It's just how you use it. And some people kind of let it seethe and simmer and don't face it. And, and it ends up coming out in nasty ways. 
uh, I try to recognize it and use it to find ways to improve myself again to examine hmm, wonder why I feel that what am I feeling insecure about or what am I putting off that I could improve on that's that's triggering me to feel envious about somebody else because we're all awesome we're all unique you're your unique self I'm my unique self mm. everybody is their unique selves and the more we get to that the quicker we get around to just being our unique, true selves, uh, the less suffering I think they'll be. That's my, that's my theory right now. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. <laughs> As always, there's lots of ways you can connect with me and support me and many links to those ways in the description. And until next time, I wish you peace, prosperity positivity. Don't forget to play every day in sweet dreams.